Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So I recently came across a request where a user wanted to create a chart something similar to this. So basically I have two measures on my line chart. One for the total sales which is represented here with the yellow line and the other for the target sales which is represented here with the orange line and also the area between the total sales and the target sales need to be highlighted or shaded in a particular color. So let's see how we can create this in Power BI using native visuals. So let's get started with this tutorial. So let me get down to the new page and start by adding a new visual here, which is our line chart. And then let's bring in the order date on my X axis. I'm gonna change this to order date over here instead of hierarchy. And then I'm gonna bring in my target sales and total sales over here. So let's quickly format this particular visual over here. Let's search for background and turn the background off. And let's also search for grid lines and turn the grid lines off here as well. Now that I have my chart appearing over here, I might have to make some changes to the colors because they are appearing in gray and I want to quickly change them to white. So let me quickly do that. Now that I have formatted my chart, let me show you the measures that I have in my measures list table over here. One is basically it's calculating my sales amount or the target sales amount. And the other is calculating my total sales amount. Very simple and straightforward. I'm gonna create a new measure here and I'm gonna call this as lower bound is equals to, I'm going to use the min function over here. Basically, I want to identify what is my minimum value when I pass in my total sales and my target sales. So I'm gonna pass in total sales, comma, and then my target sales. I'm gonna close the bracket here and confirm. I'm gonna copy this code over here and create a new measure and call this as upper bound. And let me change this to max now because I now want to identify what is my upper limit in this case and then let me click on confirm. Now that I have created both of these measures, it's now time for us to go to the format section of the line chart over here. Let's head over to the error bars because we will be making use of error bars to create that shaded area between these two lines. So I'm gonna turn on the error bars over here. Upper bound, I'm gonna click on add data and then go to measures list and then select the upper bound measure that we created. Likewise, go to lower bound, go to the measure list and check the box here which says lower bound and then scroll down and turn off the bars because we don't need to show the bars over here and let's turn on the error band over here let's turn this on and now you already have that shaded area you can change the color there's an option where you can match series color or if you want to change the color from here, you can simply turn off the matte series color here and choose a different color of your choice and then play around with the transparency bar over here as per your liking. So this is how you can create the line chart with the shaded area in between two different lines. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.